Women all over Colorado are finding they have similar stories of being ripped off by the same wedding photographer. And it's not just the brides being left high and dry. Jeff Todd on the story in Parker tonight. Jeff, getting to the bottom of this took a lot of victims coming forward and sharing their stories. Yeah, Jim, we talked to Parker Police today. They had received 15 reports regarding Suzanne Neville photography, but many more complaints are likely to come in. The photographer filed for bankruptcy protection just yesterday, but many people feel like what she has been doing for years is illegal. Thankfully, I feel like I'm one of the lucky ones who actually got her photos after hassling for uh, months and months to get them. Leah Zillner paid $1,500 to Suzanne Neville Photography for a variety of photo shoots. At her elopement, an associate showed up instead of Neville. It turns out it's lots of women that are being taken advantage of. She'll respond to them immediately. She'll book the session. She'll take the payment. And then when it comes to the follow-up or responding or scheduling or anything, ghost. Ashley Hernandez says she worked for years with Neville doing hair and makeup. She paid me consistently for like the first two to three months. She started getting behind. Um, she'd be like, I can send you $50. I can send you $25. The total for back pay over the years has skyrocketed. Right now, after everything, $31,156.80. Over the past few days, dozens of associates have shared similar stories of not getting paid and even more, brides and women seeking boudoir photos have come forward saying they paid for a service that they have never received. Everyone was afraid to talk about it. When do you realize that you shouldn't be doing this, yet you continue to do it? And that is where I think the intent comes into play, is that she knows what she's doing. Neville did not respond to our request for comment. We contacted her attorney from the bankruptcy filing. He also said he had no comment in the case. When we were talking to Parker Police, they said that they are going to take all of these reports and then present them to the district attorney. They will determine if anything criminal happened or if a lot of these cases are going to have to be, de be decided civilly. We're live in Parker tonight. Jeff Todd covering Colorado first.